Off last Friday night, Sumter police say a car crashed into a home off of Wise Drive. The homeowner says the vehicle was traveling nearly 80 miles an hour when it hit his house and caught it on fire. News 19's Nick Jones explains how one man is finding peace through tragedy. I know the Lord had a hand in this. My wife was at work. Um, and so she wasn't exposed to this uh, initially, but I'm just grateful she wasn't in the house. Keith Schultz was enjoying a Friday night at his home, getting ready to celebrate his birthday the next day, but then... I would have never in my wildest dreams thought a car would run into my house. I heard the loudest boom, explosion. By the time I got to my front door, I saw flames through my window, my dining room window. I knew immediately something had hit my house. Schultz ran outside and found out what was left of a car in his garage. I heard the young man moan. I was worried about getting that kid out of that car because he was going to die. if He within, he would have been dead in another minute or two. I mean, he would have literally burnt to death. Schultz came to the rescue and helped save the man who crashed into his home. Sumter Police has identified the person as 23-year-old Joseph Carter Outlaw. Police say he now faces DUI and drug charges at this time, and deputies say he was airlifted to a Columbia hospital. Schultz says now he's counting his blessings. If he'd have hit the tree flush, he'd be dead. If he'd have missed it the other way, I'd be dead. As the Schultzes work to piece everything together, today they are feeling blessed. What I can tell you is it has reignited my faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. My wife and I have suffered a lot of tragedy in the last couple years, and my faith may have actually dwindled. It's made me realize that None of this is that important. What's important is our health and my relationship with the Lord. While his family has lost the place he calls home, he knows this is just a bump in the road. Well, I'm gonna call it a brick wall in the road. <laughs> I've been over a few bumps, but this is a brick wall. But we're gonna knock it down, climb over it, blow it up, whatever we gotta do, and we're gonna be okay. Nick Jones reporting from Sumter tonight. Schultz says he and his family are working on moving into a new home.